When I start reading the Course about special relationships and holy relationships, I think most people who read those nine chapters from 15 to 24 about special relationships and holy relationships, they still are thinking in terms of persons and bodies. What they really want from the Holy Spirit is a romantic holy relationship. <laughs> uh, quite frankly, you know, they're like, okay, I'll read your book and, and you know, and it still talks in there as if there's two and the healed relationship, you know, and, and they call upon the Holy Spirit together and then the Holy Spirit answers immediately and then it gets very disjunctive and this and this. It's kind of a way of taking you in and then the deeper you go in, deeper and deeper and deeper, you get certain to a, a, a turning point when you're working with this going deeper. You start to see it's about the holy instant, about the present moment, about letting go of everything that you believe is good and real and true, like nothing I see means anything. It starts off with the first lesson to try to unwind you from everything you believe about the world. And then you get to a certain point where the ego will go, you, you don't want to do this course because he's going to ask you to let go of interpersonal relationships at some point. Because he's saying, the God did not create this world, and God didn't create the body. And what's the one thing that interpersonal relationships are based on? Is bodies. When, he, when even you ask people, are you in a relationship or not? You know, their answer is probably going to have something to do with proximity of bodies what bodies do together, and the frequency of contact of bodies, you know. And if there's not a lot of that going on, it's going to be like, no, I'm not, I'm single. <laughs> and if there's, a lot of, if there's a lot of this going on, a lot of contact and touching, the more the better. <laughs> uh, if there's a lot of this going on, well, you're going to say, oh, I'm in a relationship now. And, and, you know, and that implies like a commitment and so on and so forth. Well. You can see the Holy Spirit's taking us to a whole different perception of everything that we perceive and everyone we perceive. Where in the end we're opening this spiritual vision, the vision of Christ, which takes us beyond the body entirely. You know, back into spiritual awakening.